yes, I'm finally back. Oh my gosh. I think it's been about a month since I filmed a makeup tutorial. Um, if you guys did not watch my last vlog, my Black Friday shopping vlog, then you wouldn't know that my camera actually broke. Um, I took it to a Best Buy and um, they tried to look at it and they replaced all the lenses, the batteries, the memory card. They tried everything and they said that the camera was probably an internal issue. So instead of just paying so much money just to fix the old one that I had, um, I got a new camera. So yes, my parents did buy me one for Christmas. And yes, this is supposed to be a Christmas gift, but... Sorry, Mom. <laughs> yeah, so I decided just to film this tutorial. I've also been super, super busy with um, my finals. And also because, um, if you guys did not know, I am a Homeland Security major, so that means that I had to do my thesis, my research thesis for the semester. So I was doing a ton of work for that and getting prepared for my like big thesis like um, thing in front of the entire like colloquium and all of my like professors. So that was huge. That was like a week and a half ago. So I've just been super busy with a ton of work and stuff, and I wanted to just take a break and do that. And also be just because I didn't have a camera, but now since my finals are basically done, I have one more final. I took one today. Um, I have one more on Monday. I'm basically done, so I decided to film this Christmas tutorial because I wanted to do this for so long, and finally now I'm sitting in front of the camera filming this for you guys, and I'm so happy. So I really hope you guys enjoy this look. Um, it is just your classic holiday gold eye with that red lip. You know that is like the classic, classic, classic makeup look. Um, and I wanted to film a tutorial on my version of it for you guys. So if you guys want to see how I got this classic holiday look, then let's get straight into the video. Bye guys! Okay, so to start off with foundation, before I do that, I want to spray my face with the Mario Badescu, um, what is it, facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. Um, I'm really liking this, especially since my skin is so stinking dry because of this winter weather. It's like 17 degrees here today. So definitely need all the moisture I can get before I put on foundation. So just let that sit in for a second and then we'll do primer. Now for primer, I'm just going to go in with the Smashbox Primer Water. This is just another spray to put on my face that will hydrate it more. Instead of putting on a cream that will most likely dehydrate my skin, this will just add more moisture back into my face. So for foundation today, I am deciding, I've been doing this mixture lately and I really like it. I'm also not self-tanned, so I'm really pale. Um, so I have to go in with a lighter foundation. So I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Vanilla. And then I'm going to mix a little bit of my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the shade Punjab. Kind of just mix that all together. I just got back from taking uh, one of my finals. I have one more um, to take, but it was kind of hard, I'm not going to lie. It was my Spanish final. Um, at my school, I had to take two years of a language or like a gender studies in some other class. I don't know. But I opted for the language just because I've been taking Spanish since I was like five, so... So for concealer today, I've been trying out a couple new products lately. Actually, a lot of different products lately. But for concealer, you know, my go-to <clears throat> is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. But unfortunately, I ran out of this. So I decided to try a drugstore option. I finally got my hands on the Shape Tape. So pumped for that. I'm waiting for that to come in the mail because I'm super excited to try that. But I've been recently using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Neutralizer. And then underneath that, um, on top of that, I've been using the Maybelline Fit Me. In the shade light so that's what I've been using lately and that's what I'll be using today so I mostly just place this like in the inner corner just to neutralize it and really brighten up the inner corner because that's where most of my dark spots are but then I'll go in with this concealer and put it on top just because I think the other one um it's a little bit drying I don't know it just might be my skin but I feel like it sets really quickly, so that's why I go with this one instead, just because um, it's a lot easier to blend out. A little bit on the chin, the cupid's bow. 
the nose. I'm gonna blend out this first, just because if you blend out the under eyes first, it'll, um, sorry, I'm like around my mouth. Um, it will crease easier, because then you have to do the rest of your face, but if you do the other parts of your face first and then under your eyes, less chance of creasing. Tip. I can't believe it's so close to Christmas. I'm so excited to be done with the semester. I only have one more semester of college and then I graduate, which is so weird to me. Um, I'm really excited to go home. I'm going to my boyfriend's house for New Year, so I'll see him. And then my birthday is directly after New Year, so I think we're going somewhere warm. Not sure yet, but I will definitely will be vlogging wherever we go. To set my under eye, I'm going to go in with the Cody Airspun Powder in the shade Naturally Neutral. And I'm going to apply that right underneath the eyes with the Beauty Blender, and I'm going to bake. Just because you know, you know, I like this just because it prevents, oop, my phone, it prevents creasing under the eyes. And my eyes have a really big tendency of creasing with concealer. It doesn't really matter which one it is. And then just set the rest of the face and wherever else you put concealer. I like to put it in my smile lines. I'm going to let the under eye sit for a second, but whatever else is on my face, like my chin and my smile lines and my forehead area, I'm just going to blend out. And that's going to basically set the rest of my face with the excess on my face. I honestly should have did a mask before this because my skin is so dry. Now for bronzer, I'm going to go in with just a small little contour brush. I'm using the Makeup Geek rounded blush brush. I ordered new Morphe brushes um, for the Black Friday sale, but they're at home. I'm at my school right now. So I need to go home and get them, and I can't wait to go get them. So I'll definitely be home for Christmas, and I can't wait to use them in more tutorials. So, oh yeah. For bronzer, I'm going to go in with, come on, an oldie but a goodie, Benefits Hula bronzer. I love this bronzer. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to contour a little bit, and then I'm going to bronze out my face with a different product. So just fo focusing that in the contour area, making sure to blend up and not down. Now I'm going to go in with a fluffier brush. This is my MAC 138 brush. I'm going to take Hula again, and I'm going to bronze up the skin with that. I just used the smaller brush before just to make it a little bit more precise so it doesn't go everywhere. But now I'm going to bronze up the face and add some color back into this face because clearly... I do not have color. I want it to be even more warm, so I'm going to go in with, this is the, ooh, the Anastasia Contour Kit. This is the powder one, and I'm going to go in with this shade right here in the light to medium palette. Just a little bit because this is a really, really dark color. And I'm just going to add more warmth into that contour. Now I'm going to go in with a Morphe M438 brush. I almost dropped my phone. I'm going to go back in with that Anastasia palette. I'm going to take the banana shade. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up under my contour just so it looks a little bit better. Now I'm just nose contouring a little bit. I've been practicing. I'm using Hula. And a, I don't even know what this is. I got this in an Ipsy bag. How the heck do you pronounce this? Slimis Glam. S-L-M-I-S-S -S Glam. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I just feel like if you don't, and then I'm just going to take that M438 brush and then just blend that out. I feel like if you don't put anything on your nose and you bronze the rest of your face, it really just doesn't look right. For blush, I'm going to go in with another, I think it was Birchbox or Ipsy, I'm not sure because I got this a while ago, but I'm going to go in with a Japonesque blush in the shade, it's a Velvet Touch blush in the shade 2, and it's just a really nice neutral blush just because we're going to be doing a lot with the eyes and a lot with the lips today. I really want to use, ooh, 
I really want to use a neutral blush for this look. I'm just going to go in with my Sephora blush brush. Just a really nice everyday color. I love this color. So I usually lean more towards corals, but this is just a really, really nice everyday blush color. So for highlight today, I'm going to go in with my Morphe M501 brush. I'm going to be going in with Lara Geller's Gilded Honey. This is just a really go-to um, highlight, and I love this highlight. It is absolutely beautiful. A little bit on the forehead to make me look glowy. A little bit on the chin, the cupid's bow, the nose, and down the bridge of the nose. For eyebrows, I'm going to do this off camera just because I want to save some time, but I'm going to go in with my ColourPop brow pencil in the shade Dope Taupe. This is a new one. I'm really excited because I just ran out of my old one because I love it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that off camera and I will be right back. Okay, my brows are filled in. If you guys want to see how I do my brows, I'll leave my brow routine down in the description box if you guys want to watch that video. But now that they are filled in, I'm going to set them with my Urban Decay Brow Tamer in the shade clear. The shade. Um, I don't know, in clear. <laughs> Now for lid primer, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay, uh, Pro why did I just forget what that was called? The Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. I'm going to take that on my finger and just pat that on the lid and then blend it out. Now that that's on and blended out, we want to make sure we set that so the eyeshadows will blend out really, really nicely. Um, so we're going to go in with any skin toned shade but i'm going to go in with the anastasia contour palette and i'm going to go into be using the banana shade just to set that also using banana shade really just lightens up the lid so if you have really dark eyelids um or veins and such and discoloration putting a primer and then using the banana shade really really lightens up the eyelids so now onto the eyes. For eyes today, I will be using the Morphe, let me get it open, 3-5-F palette today for my look. Look at these beautiful shadows. I just think they're gorgeous. Perfect for fall, but I really like these colors. I looked at these two colors when I first got the palette and was like, that screams fall and winter. So today for my tra transition color, I'm going to go in with this shade right here and it's really really similar to makeup geek cocoa bear so if you guys have that shade um and you don't have this palette then you can use that so this is the shade that i'll be using today and this is cocoa bear so they're extremely similar so if you guys have cocoa bear or if you have vice versa then you can use those two shadows so i'm gonna go in with a really really fluffy blush brush for the transition color and we go in with my e27 brush from morphe same thing on this eye. We're going to focus it on the outer portion of my eye, really smoking that out and then bringing it in just to make everything blend nicely together. All right, now that I zoomed you guys in, you can see a little bit better. I'm just focusing this in the outer third, really smoking it out, getting ready to use those darker colors. So now for our darker shade, we're going to go in with this shade right here. And it is also, let me get out the shade, it is also super, super, super similar to Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear, as you can see. So if you guys have that color again, you can also use that color. Um, but that is the color that I'll be going with. And I'm going to be taking my, where did the brush go? I just had it. Where the heck did it go? I'm going to go in with my Morphe E17 brush, which is just a really precise crease brush. I'm going to focus this really, really in the crease. I don't want to smoke it out or make it higher. I'll show you in a second. But I really want to make this controlled and make it stay where I put it. So we're going to start on the outer third. I'm going to work our way in. Keeping that control. 
So we're going to start with that first. We're going to blend out. I'm going to take my Sigma E40 brush and just blend that out and make sure it is seamless. Really making sure that stays in the crease and it doesn't go any higher. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep the brush like this and we're going to make and we're going to blend it out because if you keep it like this it'll push it up. But if the brush is like this, it'll stay downward. But I really want to blend those colors out. I gotta be careful not to put it right here. I'm like, I'm so used to doing my makeup like this that I'm just like covering the lens. So and now we're gonna go back in with that E17 brush and that same Coco Bear S color from the Morphe palette. And I'm going to focus this now in the inner portion of my eye very, very lightly. I don't want to have a lot of color. I'm using a very, very light hand. But what I'm doing is I'm kind of just connecting these two colors together. I'm going to go back in with my Sigma brush just to blend everything out. For inner corner highlight today, I'm going to mix this color right here and this color. This is a little bit too bright, but I'm going to mix it with this just to tone it down a little bit. So for brow bone highlight today, I don't want to go with anything shimmery just because we're going to have so much shimmer on the eyelids. Um, I want to go in with just a matte eyeshadow. So this... This is from, not from the Morphe palette, but this is a perfect eyeshadow for what I want to go for. It is from the Lorac Pro, I think, 3, pal three palette, and it is this shade right here, and it is the shade Blanc. Really emphasize the most of that product right below the brow bone. Hold on, Cash is texting me. <laughs> so now for the lid. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. For the lid, I'm going to go in with the Morphe 35F palette. We're going to go back with this palette. And we're going to use this gorgeous gold shade. I'm so excited. It is literally so beautiful. Look at that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that product. I'm going to pack that on the brush. And then once the powder's on it, I'm going to spray it with any spray. You can use Fix Plus, but I just use my setting spray. Um from Maybelline and that will just really make the shadow stand out even more and really really metallic and then I'm going to start into center of the lid and work my way out oh my god this shade is so pretty Now we're going to go back in with just my Sigma and we're just going to blend out the edges a little bit just so it's not that harsh of a line. So to make my eyes even more stand out, I knew I had to use this product and it's perfect. And you know, you just need a little bit of glitter during the holidays. So I'm going to go in with my NYX Liquid Crystal Liner in the shade, what is the shade? In Crystal Gold. So the shade Crystal Gold. It is just a beautiful glitter liner and I'm going to place that in the middle of my eye just to give it a little bit more dimension and so much more sparkle. Warning though with this, I don't know if it was something I used yesterday if, because I used a different um, eye primer just because I was practicing my look. Um, I don't know if it was the primer and this product together. Oh no, it's happening a little bit. I don't know why. This liner makes my eyelid burn a little bit, and I don't know if it's just because I have really sensitive skin. Um, I don't know if this has happened to anyone else, but it definitely makes my skin burn a little bit. Just let that dry before you look up because it will transfer. Okay, so for bottom lash line, I'm going to go in with the same two colors I used. So I'm going to go first start with this one just as um, a starter shade, and then I'm going to smoke it out even more with that... Um, reddish that reddish brown color um so i'm going to take my small angled e65 brush from sigma and i'm going to put this on the lower lash line 
Now we're going to take this shade and we're only going to focus that on the outer portion of the eye just because I don't want to bring it all the way in and go about to the middle of my eye. Now I'm going to go back in with that liquid liner and I'm just going to place this right here in the inner portion of my eye just add a little bit more glitter to the look. As I'm letting that dry before I do my lashes, I'll just go into lips. We're done with the eyes. So I'm going to go in with a MAC Burgundy just to start off with to make the color a little bit darker. And then I'm going to go in with Kylie Cosmetics um, Mary Jo K. It's just a classic red. I really wish I got her um, Christmas shade Mary. Um, I think that would have been a perfect color for this look, but we will have to make do. So I'm going to go in with this color instead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my entire lips. I'm going to fill them in just so we have a base color that's dark. So maybe the liquid liner, um, the liquid lip lipstick will show up a little bit darker. So for the last thing, for lashes, we're going to go in with, I got these, um, if you guys watched my Black Friday vlog, I got these at Sephora. So I'm going to go in with my Velour lashes in the style, what are they, oh my god, Fluffin', Fluffin' Wispy? So I'm going to go in with these, they're beautiful, they're just like so dramatic, like this look. Oh, I can't wait to use them. And I'm going to be using that with my favorite eyelash glue ever, it is such a pain to get off, but... I'd rather it be so hard to come off than like it comes off in five seconds. Um, it is the House of Lashes Lash Glue for mascara to make sure my lashes blend together. And then my lower lashes, I'm going to go in with my It Cosmetics Superhero um, Mascara. Hello. And to set my makeup to make sure it stays all day long and make sure that my face doesn't look powdery and it looks beautiful, I'm going to go in with my Mario Badescu um, Rose Water Focus Spray. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It feels really good just to be back and filming in front of you guys. I really, really miss making YouTube tutorials. Um, I'm really sorry about the time that I've been gone. I love doing tutorials and I love being dedicated to them. Um, just a ton went on with my camera being broken and then school. But I'm definitely back and I don't start until the end of January. So hopefully I'll be making a ton of tutorials for you. Um, I will be doing a New Year's Eve look for you guys as well. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this video and you guys do like me, please give this video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And subscribe down below so you guys don't miss any more of my videos. Yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye, guys.